Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to uh, show you um, fluid containers. Uh, so we're going to start by creating smoke within a 3D container and just go ahead and get started. Um, so right here we're going to switch to our effects tab and we're going to go to fluids and 3D container. Now in here I'm going to change my size to 40 here, 60 here, and 40 also here. And that's going to give me a much larger volume uh, for my simulation to run. And I'm going to switch to my side viewport and just go ahead and make sure roughly about here. And then I'm going to grab my little emitter here, the little circular shape in the center, and just drag that down to the bottom. So we should have something that looks like this. I could even turn off my grid. Um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and change my uh, temperature and fuel. And I've included a Word document uh, in my Canvas shell so you can follow along uh, pretty easily if you, in case you skip something or miss something or um, you, you know you can work at your own pace without pausing and playing and things like that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and change my temperature from off zero to dynamic grid and also the same thing for my fuel. Now I'm going to go down to dynamic simulation and I'm going to change the simulation rate from 1 to 2. So my simulation rate scale from 1 to 2. I'm going to now scroll down to content details and on density I'm going to change the uh, density scale from 0.5 to 4 and my buoyancy to 6. Now I'm going to go down to velocity and I'm going to change the swirl to 5. Under turbulence I'm going to change the strength to 0 0.02 and on fuel I'm going to change the fuel scale from 1 to 10. I'm also going to change the reaction sp speed to 0 0.008. And now I'm going to scroll down to my shading. And under shading, under color, I'm going to select oh. and if you accidentally click in here, if you click the square at the bottom, it will delete. Um, I'm going to change this color by clicking this here and I'm going to select a color from to like a light gray. Okay. Now I'm going to do this sort of a ramp shader thing. So under my incandescence here, oh, not into incandescence. Um, and in here I'm going to add an extra one under color again sorry and this color will be black and I'm going to go ahead and adjust this to be about here 
and um, I can even change the adjusted number to 0.1629 if you're really wondering um, and that's the number I have in my uh, fluid shape color and then I'm going to click on the exit so now I have this little shader here and now it's like a, uh, a gradient um, in a way so it's on like a grayscale gradient now I'm gonna go down to incandescence and you uh, will notice the sort of fire colors I have black orange yellow and I'm gonna click on the arrow next to this and then here I'm gonna set it to black this one will be gray and this one will be white and then I'll close out of that now we're gonna go down to the opacity here and you're gonna notice this little line graph now we're gonna go ahead and adjust it so it looks something like this and I'm just clicking in here and it's creating new little lines for me and that's good for now so something like that um, it doesn't need to look identically to mine but you know something similar should be fine now I'm going to scroll down to lighting and I'm going to click on self shadow and now I'm going to switch to the tab fluid emitter okay I'm going to switch my object to the fluid emitter fluid emitter here which is also right here so in my fluid emitter I'm going to change the density voxel uh, and seconds under fluid attributes to 5 and back in fluid shape one I'm going to scroll to the top here and I'm going to change my resolution and I'm going to click on keep voxel square to turn that off and I'm going to change it to 40 40 and 20 and that's going to give me a pretty decent resolution for my smoke now that I've done all of that I'm gonna hit play and you're starting to get this smoky look in and, uh, and I'll increase my frames let's say 500 and it's gonna stay within this fluid container and that's when if you wanted it to be larger you can adjust the size and we're starting to get something that plays back like this so we're starting to get this smoke feel to it um, this always reminds me of sort of like a uh, uh, a slow death with like Batman and Robin stuck inside and they have to figure a way out of the you know poison gas room or something um, and now we are basically all finished so you can go ahead and adjust all of these um, let's just play it back to like a thousand and you can really play around with a lot of this stuff and I'm gonna start back from frame one really anytime you need to reset 
something you have to start back at frame one uh, to get it to play properly and I'm gonna hit play and you're gonna see we start to get this really cool smoky looking file and if you like you can even increase the resolution to like let's just say 50 50 and 50 but remember when doing that you're also uh, gonna be calculating more and you can notice how much slower it's running but you'll have a higher resolution and I'll stop it right there you'll have a f higher resolution smoke coming up and you get something that looks something like this and it's pretty pretty cool so anyway that's how you go ahead and create smoke um, that's one way of creating it in Autodesk Maya using um, a 3d container you can also create fire in these you can create all types of stuff um, and that's just a matter of tweaking all of the settings in there and um, I apologize if I lost my place while I was sort of going through my Word document trying to remember all the settings to get the look to look like smoke. Um, however, uh, you can really get a lot out of this. You can even change the color of this so you get like a, uh, if you did green for instance, um, you can kind of get like a poison gas or whatever uh, you're going for. So. I'm going to keep it at like a light gray, maybe even, yeah, light gray works. And now I have this smoky looking uh, sequence here. So that's um, really everything I've got for you in this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and message me if you have any questions.